Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is quite a different video, we haven't been at, at this page for a while, but um, today I'm starting a new series, it's called Back to the Beginning because you know, we are original, but basically I haven't played this game for about six years, like from the beginning. So I'm kind of excited and I decided to do a let's play of my alternate account. So I don't know what server I'm going to be putting yet, but um, I am currently making an American account. So this does not mean that I'm not going to make a different account. I know that a lot of people want it on a European server as well and I will definitely get there, but this is just for now this is just the first alternate account that i'm making because i'm still like quite a busy person so um i can't have too many accounts and i didn't want to pay for star rider for two of them just yet so we're starting off in america but don't worry to you people in a, in europe i will be there soon in the in the foreseeable future i don't know but also look at this little ladybug it's really cute but here we are on the creator character screen so I'm, I think I'm just gonna do Cassandra again and see maybe McBell is available and we can be Cassandra McBell but I was thinking we do something else just to kind of have that separate between Australia server and America server so let's see what other ones there is here <gasps> Bell isn't even an option. Oh my god, I have a special name. You can't even choose Bell anymore. What is this? Okay. Let's do Cassandra Mc Cassandra McBird. No, let's do Cassandra McBorn. And our horse's name. Oh gosh. Okay, let's just choose our horse's colour first. I kinda wanna go grey. Grey's kinda pretty. Actually no, I do like this horse. Let's go for this horse because it's kinda cool. None of these match the color brown. Okay, we'll just go for a white mane then. That looks graceful, hopefully pretty. So then let's, okay, where's the name choosing thing? Oh, here it is, okay. Let's call, oh, Arctic's cute, wait. Let's say I'm going to name this horse Orca um, because it's kind of cute, I kind of like it. So I'm gonna call this horse Arctic orb and its nickname is orca which is a type of whale i think i'm not sure i think i'm just gonna do the same one that i have and kind of like make me look the same because i'm original okay so now that i'm kind of creeped out because i look like me but i'm not me um let's enter all of this email -y stuff please cover that editing me Alright, so our account is created with Cassandra McBorn and Arctic Orb. And we do get this free gift, which isn't as cool as the dog you could get a few months ago. But it's whatever, because I do like that hat. I do not need to download. No, cancel, 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 cancel. <laughs> Alright, everyone. So basically, it's the end of the day now. I made this video about like over 12 hours ago I started this video but I started to feel really bad about just randomly choosing Meringue Cloud so I went back through all of your comments and it's taken me about half an hour to do so but I've tallied up all of the results and Pumpkin Meadow and Watermelon Beach were the top two most requested servers it was actually really hard because I feel like everyone suggested every single one of these but Pumpkin Meadow and Watermelon Beach tied with the same amount of points. So I'm going to actually just jump onto Watermelon Beach because my friend likes watermelon and she is my wifey. So I feel like I have to choose this one. But make sure to just let me know what servers you guys are on. Um, especially on the American one so that I can jump between the servers in the future. But for now we're just going to chill on Watermelon Beach for a while. Loading up the game for the first time on an American server which is kind of weird I'm kind of excited so this is going to be my first time 
playing through the game in about seven years. Today, the day that I am filming this, it is the 15th of the 6th, 2020. Exactly seven years ago, I made Cassandra McBell. Oh, here we go, it's the intro. Okay, I'm gonna finish that story. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. I bought Star Rider. Okay, um... I'm gonna read this, but seven years ago exactly today, I started Cassandra McBell, so it's been seven years since I made an account and played it from start, because basically ever since the game has come out, I wasn't allowed to buy Star Rider, so all I did was just consistently made new accounts every time I ran out of stuff to do, because that was exciting to like an eight year old. But now here we are, we're starting again, and we're on a computer that I've never played the game on before, basically like all the story quests. So I don't know if you guys will want me to read all of the quests. I'm kind of new to, to this whole let's play thing in Star Stable. So if you don't want me to read it, then tell me in the comments below. But if you're happy with me reading all the quests and just going through step by step with you guys, then I'm totally cool with that as well. But let's start. According to legend, the island of Jorvik was once nothing more than a desolate rock in a cold, dark sea, until one magical and stormy night, a star fell from the sky. As the star struck down, its embers glowed against the dark night. Suddenly a girl on horseback sprang forth from the fading flames. She rode gracefully across the surface of the stormy water, leaving calm and stillness in her wake. In her right hand, she carried a light. The girl and her horse reached Jorvik's bleak and lifeless shores, and she cast down her light in the very centre of the island. Immediately, waves of life began to surge across the island, and all that was once cold and dark was brought to life with warmth and light. With a close eye on the legend, Jorvik has always cherished its strong and lasting bond with its horses, and some say they're the very soul of the island. You've come to Jorvik to spend the summer at Moorland Stables, where you'll be working and taking care of a horse of your own. After the summer is over, you will be you will apply to the Jorvik Equine Institute, which would mean staying on the island and building a life here, a life filled with horses and adventure. The island of Jorvik has it the, island, the legend of Jorvik has it that in times of great despair and darkness, a girl will once again appear on horseback to bring light and hope to those who believe that all is lost. Are you that girl? And look at me, I look so weird. I like don't know how I feel about making myself look like my main account, but it's, it's okay. So this is Cassandra McBorn. Okay, I don't need to be told how to play the game. I kind of already know how to play Star Stable, you know. I got, I got them years of experience behind me. Hello, Justin. Welcome to Moorland Stables. I'm Justin and I run the stable together with my dad. I take care of the horses here and make sure each horse is, ma is matched with a suitable rider. Are you ready to meet your horse? I am ready to meet Orca. Yes, please. Let me introduce you to your new friend, Arctic Orb. I forgot what I named the horse, to be honest. I put on the tack and saddle for you already, so all you have to do is to climb into the saddle. I'm sure you and Arctic Orb will be the best will be best friends in no time. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm doing this when I can't even read. We are in the saddle for the first time. Arctic Orb looks happy to have you up there. Do you feel comfortable? I think you two make a great team. Let's take care of our horse. This is something that I never do on my main account because I have this thing called stable care, not to flex or anything, but yeah. Caring for your horse. Well done, Cassandra. Now your horse feels better and it is happier. If you do this every day, your horse will soon be so happy that he will run faster. But if you don't take care of Arctic Orb, he will soon become sad and run slower. Surely a responsible rider like you. Oh, the level up music. We'll never let that happen, especially not here at Moorland. Here at Moorland, we always need help taking care of our horses, and now I know that I can trust you. Congratulations, you have started to build a reputation with Moorland Stables. Oh gosh, it's been a while since I've had to build a reputation with Moorland Stables. You and Arctic Orb seem to be getting along great. I'm sure you two will be sweeping across the riding trails of Moorland in no time. 
I need to make sure more horses find their dream riders, but our stable girl, Maya Dew, can direct you to your riding lessons. She's just outside this gate by the stables. I'll get her open for you. Oh gosh, we are so slow. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I feel like such a noob. I wonder, wait, what's the time in this server right now? It's currently 7.33 in the morning, so that's why it's still kind of dark. That's like completely 12 hours behind me even more because it's currently 9 30. hi i'm maya nice to meet you cassandra it's great that you chose to come to moorland welcome jenna's looking a little old jenna could use an update but that's okay that's right i'm jenna you must you must be one of the new arrivals what can i do for you teach me how to ride girl now this was different when i did it i had to do jumping not even jumping, it was over trot poles. When I first started playing this game, non-star riders couldn't jump, and now everyone can jump, so that's kind of it's cool. But, you know, I should stop comparing this experience because I feel like you guys are going to get so annoyed about it. See, I automatically just jumped just then. I wouldn't have been able to do that before. Fantastic. Nice work on the square track. You and Arctic Orb really worked as a team. Keep it up. I remember when my friend, when Ella, attempted doing this and she didn't even jump it but she still completed it, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, wow, we can jump. Fantastic, you and- oh, the music! Okay, <laughs> I don't turn my sound on enough apparently. <laughs> New ability, you can now gallop. Look at us for lie. Hey Loretta, I heard that you aren't as mean as when I first talked to you. Hello Justin, again I'm back. I know how to ride now, I'm even not wearing a helmet anymore. Hi again Cassandra, having a good time with Arcticorp? Yes I am. Oh, we can change our clothes as well. Now we're looking fancy, we're looking real good. Your horse has gone up a level, yes. Um, I keep forgetting his name, Orca. Thank you for coming so fast, Cassandra. This situation with Mr. Campbell from GAD is getting out of hand and I need your help. I just heard that he's almost convinced the council that GAD has the right to the land and there is hardly any time left to stop him. Right now, his creepy surveyors are setting up their equipment so they can make a detailed map for the planned demolition. I'm the true owner of this land, but I need time to prove that to the council. Can you help me save more land stables? We have to delay Mr. Campbell's surveys to buy some time. All you have to do is turn off their GPS equipment. They're setting them up by the area outside the stable, between here and the hills where their construction site is. I've marked more or less where the GPS equipment is on your map. Good luck. Thank you. Alright, so we just arrived on like a summer camp and we're being hired to turn off some surveying machines, I guess. But that's cool. Now I don't think, I think if they spot you, it's bad. So let's not get spotted by them. One more. Okay, we'll go back up to this one up here. And we've turned them all off. Okay, let's ride back to Thomas now. Splendid. Good work. I truly appreciate it. That will delay them for a while. Now at least I've got a little time to build my case against Mr. Campbell for the council. What am I going to do, Cassandra? Mr. Campbell is really putting pressure on me with all these legal documents. I'm sure I could stop him if I just had a little more time. Hmm. If he wants to play dirty... I'll show him what he has met his that he has met his match. Let's see. Ride past the blacksmiths and up towards the hills. Along the road there is a power distribution box, just where the road turns at the construction site. It should be possible to turn off that horrible sign by turning off the power there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. That should buy us some more time. Let's go. Here is the little switchy box, so let's switch it off. There we go. Perfect. You guys have fun with that, Mr. Campbell. Haha, -ha, I think I can hear that nasty man shouting all the way over here. 
Now I have a bit more time, just what I needed. Now we don't have to see that horrible GED sign anymore. All I need to do is prove that I actually own the land. Then I can stop Mr. Kemble. There is a deed to Moorland Stables that my father was given over 50 years ago by the Baroness of Silverglade, who lives in the castle. I can't find the documents here, but I think that our old accountant, Miss Holdsworth, must know where the title deed is. She knows everything about our business. She retired last year and now spends her days taking care of the flowers outside her little cottage. Go see her. She should be able to tell you where the documents are. You can find her in the little red wooden cottage just outside the stables close to the beach. Let's go talk to good old friend Mrs. Holdsworth. Why, hello dear. What can I do for you? Hmm, let me think. I believe there was a deed of ownership, but it got lost some years ago when Thomas Morland's wife Catherine died in childbirth. Thomas lost all interest in papers and documents and just wanted to spend time with his horses. All the paperwork was put in a chest and sent over to Catherine's father, and there's a good chance that the title deed was in that chest. Her dad is Jasper Holbrook, and the child that was born is, of course, Justin. Jasper blames Thomas for Catherine's death, and they haven't spoken in 20 years. It's a tragedy that this feud has been going on for so long, but if anyone has the title deed, it would be old man Jasper. It won't be easy convincing him to be too part with it, though. You'll find old man Jasper along the road leading to Fort Pinter, close to the wall. Good luck, dear. Thank you, Miss Holdsworth. We'll see you again soon. Hey, Jasper. Well, you found me, and now you can leave me alone again. Oh, level three? Oh, I didn't read it, no. Level three, yes. Bah, what do I care if Moorland Stables is raised to the ground? That place killed my daughter, and I have hated the Moorlands for the better part of 20 years. If you think you can change that, you're welcome to try, but I won't help you. Oh. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Wait, who am I speaking to? Okay, back to Moorland. Oh, there's so many quests. Okay. Hi, Cassandra. Have you been to see my grandfather, Jasper? That crazy old man hates us and nothing would please him more than to see our sable raised to the ground. I don't know how I could make that old fool of a grandfather change his mind. I know that my mum really loved my dad, Thomas. What happened was a terrible tragedy. I have these letters from my mum and dad that they wrote to each other before they got married. They prove it was true love. I've been thinking of showing them to my grandfather, Jasper, but never really dared. If he saw them, he would realise that Catherine and Thomas really loved each other. Maybe you can show him. Take these letters and show them to Jasper. They should make some kind of impression on him. And back to Jasper. What? Are you here again? What's with all the papers? Let me have a look of that. It looks really old. I recognize that handwriting. Is it true? Were they really written by my daughter? When I read these letters from my beloved daughter, my heart weeps. I've been such a proud idiot all these years and it's cost me my grandson. Sob, sob. I have the title deed and of, of course I will give it to Thomas Moorland. That slimeball Mr. Kemble is a gr disgrace to this island. Here is the key to my deposit box in Fort Pinter. You'll find the title deed inside. Collect it and bring the key back to me before you say anything to Thomas Moorland. From now on you can, you can ride across my land whenever you want. You will get to Fort Pinter by following the road blah 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 blah. I know where it is. Don't worry, Jasper. Oh, look at that pan shot. Alright, let's give him the key. Give us the papers. We want the papers. And let's go save Moorland. Thanks for getting the title deed. These are the old legal documents that show that Thomas is the rightful owner of Moorland Stables. And you brought my key back to... Ah, and you brought my key back too. Great, thank you. Of course I'd bring your key back. <laughs> Thanks once again. Well, what do you know? My frosty heart is now warm. After 20 years in the cold, young lady, I give you this title deed to Moorland Stables. You have certainly earned it. 
Thomas would definitely be happy now. Oh, we get cool pants. Okay. Young lady, would you possibly do a grumpy old man a favor? Could you take these letters in this amulet that belonged to Catherine, Justin's mother, and give them to him? Tell him what you have done and that I want to see him as soon as possible. It may not be much, but at least it's an attempt to try to start repairing 20 years of bitterness and a way for this old fool to say sorry. And we get another shirt, okay. We're getting all the clothes. We're gonna be the most fashionable people on this game. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, so let's talk to Justin first and then we'll go talk to Thomas. Oh, Cassandra, you have no idea how happy this makes me. This feud has been going on for far too long and it's finally come to an end, all thanks to you. You will always be a very special friend to us here at Moorland Stables. Thank Sorry, guys, my computer ran out of space. But let's now go talk to Thomas. Holy horses, you have saved the stables from demolition. Finally, I can prove that I'm the rightful owner of Moorland Stables and it's all thanks to you. I will show this to the council and then Mr. Kemble will have no choice but to stop construction of the new buildings. I don't know how to thank you. I owe you more than I could ever repay you. Aw, that's fine. I have some fantastic news. I noticed that you have a great hand with Arctic Orb and I took the liberty of speaking with the owners. They moved from Jorvik a couple of years ago and now live on the other side of the world. They will probably not be back in Jorvik for many, many years. I've told them about you and how great you and Arctic Orb are together and even though they love Arctic Orb, they're willing to sell you him for only 300 Jorvik shillings? This is a great price and a fantastic opportunity. Yes, it is. I understand that maybe you don't have that much money yet, but don't worry, there are many ways to make that kind of money around here. If you have some determination and are not afraid of honest work, come back to me when you have money and I will help give you the deed of ownership. Yes. Oh my gosh, we're so close, but I'm going to have to leave this part of back to the beginning right here. So this welcome, my new alternative alternative account i'm just my new alt account cassandra mcborn and uh orca to uh, what where are we watermelon beach so if you guys are excited for this let's play and you want to see this let's play on the channel then let me know in the comments below because i'm excited to like go through the game with you guys of course the first few uh parts might be a bit boring just because we're going through the quests that everyone has done a million times because they're just the beginner quests but I do have lifetime star rider on this account now so we're gonna be here for a while and if you guys see me in the game then of course say hi give me a friend request and send me mail that also goes from my main account which is in the description Cassandra McBell on Magnolia Jungle but yeah, if you guys like this video, then give it a like and a subscribe because that just is a free way of showing your support to me and also tell me in the comments below if you want to see the Let's Play. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. And remember guys to stay simply a Mosawa. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!